Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today's October 1st, 2018, and this is our episode number 368. Today I'd like to take a look at Hermes Pardini. Hermes Pardini is a network of uh, medical labs. It's a recent IPO. I think it IPO'd like last year. Not much, uh, not a lot before that. And yeah, this is a company that has seen its price fluctuate wildly uh, ever since. But as always, uh, of course, uh, price matters. But the price movement itself in the short term, uh, and when I say short term, I say even three years, uh, it only matters as far as generating outsized opportunities for fundamentally uh, good companies. So we're, we're only partnering with companies uh, that we think are good. We're not shorting companies. I don't know how to do that. Do that. So again, what we do is look at the company's fundamental situation. And if the company happens to be attractively priced uh, compared to, to their long-term outlook, then we consider. Uh, cool. So we have information as far back as third quarter of 2017. And what I would like to do here is just complete the year 2017, first and foremost. All right, here it is. So as always, we go to the liabilities table because that's where we find the net equity. So 538, and we can see here that they're presenting growth in net equity. Let me just double check here. Yes, 538. So here we can do 17, 538. What are their total liabilities? So here, uh, current liabilities, 239. And non-current, 376. So as you can see here, their non-current liabilities have been escalating at quite a, a pace here. So, so 375 plus 239, 615. Onwards to debt, so short-term debt, loans and financing, 42, plus non-current loans and financing, 237, so 277, 279, 279, cool. So their debt to equity is slightly above what we would like, which would be from 0 to 0 0.5. And they're at 0 0.52. Uh, I think this is um, more serious since uh, Ms. Pagini IPO'd very recently. So for them to be carrying this much debt right after raising a lot of capital through an IPO uh, is not a good sign. Let's see uh, Ms. Pagini IPO. Let's, let, let me just double check here to see if I'm not saying something completely. Yeah. February 10th, 2017, so about a year and a half here. And this one does not have the date, but this one seems to have the date. So this is what I'm talking about, a company that IPO'd uh, in February 10th, 2017, uh, is carrying this much debt, so this is not uh, ideal at all. Their liabilities to equity aren't, you see, like in this page here, we can see one that's much better, that's affluent, but the others are worse. At 1.14, I wouldn't say this is like uh, dangerous. And current ratio. So that'll be current assets, 479. 
divided by current liabilities, 239 right here. And that's almost around two, which is fine. Uh, two would be the bare minimum for even a, a defensive investor to accept. Onwards to revenue, so here we have a billion 117. And we can take these three years, 899, 772. So this is interesting because they are showing, oops, and I made a mistake here. Uh, let me insert one below here, and even another one. Seven seven two fifteen. So let me just make offset one zero. Zero one. It was one zero. Yes. And we can see what we would expect from a company that just IPO, which is revenue growth. That's the bare minimum. Otherwise, why would have the IPO? Uh, so earnings. So the earnings this year were 130. And we can uh, just jot down here, 103.83. And onwards to free cash flow. So here we can say operating cash flow 142 minus 112, 30. So clearly the free cash flow is not nearly as good. So here we could see the market cap at some point this year or yeah, or early or late last year. So here we can do Ernest Pagini market cap. And right now, the market cap's at 1973. So as you can see here, a drop of over 50%. So we don't even need to use the calculator to compare this with this column and see that it's far outside what we would like still. Um, so it's costing almost four times their net equity, not, not super attractive. And compared to our, our earnings here on average of 100, so this is almost a P3 of 20, when we would like something around 10 or, or, or a little less. So that's what we're talking about here. Uh, even after a drop in 50% in this company's case, it's not clear that this would be a, a good uh, opportunity for us to become their partners. Sometimes the opposite happens. Uh, you're holding a company and it drops 50% while you own it. And there's absolutely no reason to sell because their fundamentals uh, are showing otherwise. Well, in that case, uh, typically, it's time to buy more, right? Uh, but with Hermes Pagini, uh, it's not clear that this would be a good idea to become a, their partner right now. Okay, so with that said, this concludes our episode of today, and we'll come back with a different one in our next episode. Meanwhile, uh, if you're here and you're not yet, yet a subscriber, please consider becoming a subscriber uh, by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button, and you'll get notifications about our future episodes uh, with companies mostly traded in Brazil, but this could change at any time. Uh, and uh, I invite you to watch our past episodes, I invite you to watch our future episodes, and as always, if you have questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a comment in the video, and I'll write you back as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.